Being the face, hands, and feet of Christ to those in need is a way of life for Presbyterians. It's a part of our DNA. What is also unique to being Presbyterian is how we are governed and how decisions are made and by whom. The Presbyterian Church is governed by ruling elders and teaching elders who are gathered in councils at all levels of the church, including the General Assembly. General Assembly actions help set priorities for the work of the church in keeping with the church's mission under Christ. How those policies happen is an interesting process. Let's walk through it together. Business comes to the General Assembly from a variety of sources. For example, an idea takes shape. The idea is taken to the session of the church for approval. If the session approves, it then goes to the presbytery for review. If the presbytery approves, it's sent as an overture to the General Assembly. It will also need a concurrent approval by at least one other presbytery. The overture is then sent out to advocacy groups and General Assembly standing committees for their comment. The overture is also reviewed for financial implications. The overture is then assigned to the appropriate General Assembly Committee. The next part of the process actually takes place at General Assembly, where hundreds of commissioners make up the committees that review, debate, and eventually vote on the committee recommendations for each overture. Who are these commissioners? What are their backgrounds? How are they chosen? Each Presbytery elects commissioners to the General Assembly, an equal number of ruling elders and teaching elders. They could be your Sunday school teacher, your pastor, or your neighbor. They are not chosen to serve as agents or representatives. They gather to pray and seek together to find and represent the will of Christ. Committee recommendations come back to the entire General Assembly for action. Proposed amendments to the Constitution approved by the General Assembly go to the presbyteries for their vote. All other actions take effect at the close of the assembly. Commissioners are available to their presbyteries to help interpret the actions of the General Assembly over the following two-year period. Presbyterians have a long and rich history of gathering together to learn, pray, and discern together as the body of Christ.